friends good morning welcome or welcome back to the sustainable sierra youtube channel if this is your first time here hello welcome my name is sierra and i'm an american living in england every week i make a new video about whatever it is my family happens to be up to on the weekly in today's video as you guys can tell by the title i'm going to be doing a little unbagging I would say unboxing, but it's actually kind of an unbagging because I got it from my local Lush store instead of ordering it online this time. And those two collections I'm going to be showing you today are both the Chinese New Year range and part of the Valentine's Day range. If you're one of my subscribers, which if you're not, shame on you, you should subscribe right now, um, you know that my Lush Connect collection is huge. I buy a ton of Lush and I really just don't need to add products that either I don't absolutely love to my collection or just buy products for videos because I have just too much in my collection already. So I'm trying to get through it and enjoy it and I don't want to get too much stuff stacked up and have it expire on me. But anyways, let's get started. Um, first thing I'm gonna show you guys the little Lunar New Year um, collection and it's one bath bomb and it's super cute. It's sealed inside this little bag right here so I'm gonna open it for you. And that item is the Golden Rabbit Bath Bomb. Mine is a little bit less golden than I would like it to be because it was kind of floating around in my bag, inside of its bag, on the way home from the store today, but I'm gonna give it a little smell and we're gonna see what's inside. Oh my gosh, that just smells so good. It smells um, like fresh floral deliciousness and I don't know that I could even pinpoint what's in here. It could be sandalwood, but I'm not actually sure, so I'm gonna check on here and see. Um, it is scented with sandalwood oil, bergamot oil, and neroli oil, which I love all of those things, so it totally makes sense I would love this, but he's just so cute. Um, actually, I got two of them, but the other one's already wrapped because I got it for a little man for Chinese New Year. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that um, our family is 33% Chinese because we adopted our son from China a few years ago, and so Chinese New Year has become part of our family culture, so I got one for him too. And I think I might even go buy another one because it would be a really good gift for like an Easter basket because it's a rabbit. So I'll be interested to see if Lush keeps this around throughout Easter just because it's a rabbit. I don't know. Or maybe they'll reuse the mold or something. Not sure. But now moving on to the Valentine's Day range, which is usually a pretty small collection anyway, but I only picked up a couple of different items from there. Um, this might not be the most exciting haul video I've ever made, but I wanted to show you what I got just because I wanted to show you. So um, the first item that I got, actually the only bath product that I got for the Valentine's Day range is the Floating Island Bath Melt. Floating Island Bath Melt is a cross between a bath bomb and a bath melt. A bath melt is like um, basically a bar of different um, plant oils that melt into your bath and make it smell really good and very moisturizing. But it's also part bath bomb, meaning it has a bit, a bit of fizz in it. It's basically the same thing as the golden egg bath melt that used to come out for Easter every year that didn't come out this year, or the last collection for some reason. Let's give it a smell. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It's almost like, just like a sweet rose. Like, I think it just smells like directly like you picked this from a rose garden and then like brought the entire garden with you. It's just lovely. I don't know any other way to describe it except for lovely. But um, according to the official ingredient list, it is scented with almond oil, rose absolute, jasmine absolute, lemongrass oil, ylang ylang oil, and vanilla absolute. So it's like, it reminds me a lot of Sleepy except instead of lavender, it's rose. If you've smelled this, let me know in the comment section if you agree with that. But to me, that's kind of what it smells like. Although I actually do have a Twilight bath bomb sitting over here on this table, so maybe that's why it smells like it. But anyways, that's beside the point. Really lovely, I highly recommend, especially because in the winters, everyone's skin gets so dry, or at least my skin gets dry and gross. So it's really nice to have super moisturizing product around this time. Okay, moving on to the second, and actually, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the final item in the range I picked up is a little tiny, like half size sliver of the passion fruit body wash delight um and i can smell it already through that wrapper it is gorgeous i'll have to take it off really carefully so it doesn't get completely destroyed and mushy but it looks like this and it looks and feels like an orange marshmallow and i actually tried a bit of this in the store as well at the sink and it looks like because it's so spongy that it would like melt 
and like just kind of go everywhere and turn into a big old mess but it really doesn't it actually keeps it in shape of course you have to be a bit gentle with it because it's such a soft product but it actually is really nice it's kind of just like a spongy soap which is really good and it smells incredible I mean it says passion fruit on the label and it smells exactly like a passion fruit so I'm gonna give it a little smell on camera so you guys can see but Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. I think there's actually some other things in here as well with the passion fruit, so I'm just gonna look that up really quickly so we can know what it is. Passion fruit juice, buchu oil, listea kudapa oil, sweet wild orange oil, and almond oil. Interesting, the only thing that I smell in here is the passion fruit, which I really love passion fruits. They're hard to get a hold of in the UK, and when you get a hold of them, they're quite expensive, but all I smell is passion fruit. So I'm excited to use this in the shower and give it a good go, but I think I'm probably going to have to go buy back to the store and buy an entire brick of it because that just smells amazing. Okay. So yeah, that's officially everything that um, I picked up from the Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year ranges. However, there's one more item that I wanted to show you that I don't know if it's like a leak or like an exclusive that my store has to give out or anything but they gave me a little sample of a new moisturizer that is coming into the store that I'm very excited about and it is called the Peace Moisturizer. Um, as you can see it's like a straight up sample pot. I almost wonder if like it was like a staff sample or something and they just like gave me a little bit of it but anyways um I don't know what the ingredients are. I don't think that it says on here but it's the new moisturizer that's coming out in the next couple of days or weeks. I'm going to open it up and we're going to experience it together. Let's give it a smell. It doesn't really smell like anything, actually. I don't want to mess up too much, but it's actually, like, really thick. Um, you guys can see I had my fingers in it, and it um, comes off, which I guess is good because you can get a lot of use out of the product. Oh, wow. That... It still, to me, has very little smell, but, wow, it gave my hand, you know, a nice little moisturizing area. So that's nice. So I like that a lot. That's exciting. I love when Lush comes up with new skincare products because I know they always put a lot of care into making their products. Um, and they're always really lovely when they make a really good product. So that's exciting. But yeah, that's everything in my little Lush Valentine's Day and Chinese New Year slash exclusive sample haul. I know it's a little bit shorter than you guys are used to, but thank you guys for watching anyway. If you like this video, make sure that you subscribe below and let me know in the comment section, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye!